right? All right, so cool. Let's go to our uh, home view here. I want you to see something here. This view here will not be available unless you are logged in. How? If you go back to your home controller, okay, we have this thing called middleware in the construct, meaning that this is going to be activated, all right, throughout this home controller. That means that every method that is inside this home controller will be protected by this middleware. Unless you are authenticated, it will not allow you to proceed. All right. So I'm logged into my application right now. I can easily go to forward slash home. Oops. Right here. You can see that, right? But if I'm logged out and I try to go back in there, I get redirected to login. Okay. So know that stuff. Now let's uh, log in real quick. I'm logged in. All right. I want you to understand that we're going to go over this middleware later on, but I just want you to be aware of that. So how do we pull out the user's information? And guys, remember these routes here. All right. They are defined right here. Okay. That route for home. You see the, the, control, the route forward slash home goes to home controller so that's where we are right here okay but anyway let's retrieve some of the users information and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna access a class called auth and the method for user alright this is where how we access the authentication authenticated user with its class so let's click on there and let's import it on top make sure you're importing this and make sure that you have this compact user. I already had it there, but that's because I have my dog barking. I had to remake the lecture. So, but anyway, so compact user, just to do it from scratch with you. Beautiful. So we, now that we're passing that user, if we go to the home controller real quick, we can use Blade right here to display the user's name. So we can say user name. Okay, you're logged in and you should say the name of that person, right? There we go. You're logged in as in DS. All right? So that's how we retrieve the user's information. Let's go back to route here. I'm going to comment this out. I'm going to show you another way to check. I'm going to show you a way to check if the user is logged in. All right. Cool. So we can say if auth, we use this method check. All right. That's it. Make sure that you import this on top. All right, so we're going to return, all right, the user is logged in. All right, all right, let's go to our root real quick. There we go, the user is logged in. But if we log out, you can see that we don't see anything, right? Nothing. So let's go and go to home, log in again. All right. Oops. Oh, and one thing about this, uh, what this login system does is that if you keep trying here over and over again, it's going to lock you out for a couple minutes. I don't know if it was 15 minutes or 5 minutes the first time. Um, you can go to Laravel and check it out. But it will actually count how many times you tried and it will lock you out. All right. So that's one of the cool things about this. Let's log in. All right. Cool. So what else? Let's actually try to log in a user. All right. So let's say you have a form and you're getting some values from the form like maybe the username and the password and you want to create this you want to authenticate that user right so you would do something like this once you and and you would put this in a model or something okay guys in a user model um okay all right so let's do this and the attempt is the method and we can pass an array here real quick and we can say something like uh, if the username in the database equal to the username you have given me in the form and the password all right is equal to the password you're giving me then 
you're good to go. I want you to read. I want to redirect you. Okay, back to where you try to log in. All right. That's what we're doing in this piece of code here. So we're not only just redirecting the user, but we're giving it the same URI that they try to log in. So if they were trying to go to admin for some reason before and they got redirected back, of course, we don't have that route. But if they got redirected back to login because of that and they try to log in now, they're going to get redirected to admin the next time because that's what this method is doing. And we can put a default here just in case. All right, cool. And the reason why this is underlined like this, it has this red line, is because I haven't put values for for that yet. So my ID is letting me know, hey, listen, these variables are empty. See that? So now it's full. Let's do the other one. We can't leave username by itself, you know? All right, cool. So that's one way of doing this. Now, um, you can also log them out real quick. And guys, at the end of this section, check for resources, check for links. I'm going to give you this link so you can go to the documentation and look at these methods. You can do that yourself. Super easy stuff. I'm just giving you an overview of some of the methods. But this is a piece of cake, okay? In the project that we're going to be creating, we are going to be like really, really practicing the practice stuff. Really, we're going to really jump into the project and we're going to create something amazing that you're going to love and that you're going to get a lot of knowledge from, okay? This is basically going over a couple things and things that you can go in the documentation and do yourself. But this gives you an idea how it's done. So when you look at the, the documentation, it's going to be easier for you to digest, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you in the next lecture.